In question two, we're told a bird flies from a tree. At time t seconds, the bird's height y meters above horizontal ground is given by y is equal to 1 eighth t to the fourth minus t squared plus 5, where t is between 0 and 4. In part a for two marks, we need to find dy dt. We need to differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to t. So on the left, I'll have dy dt. On the right, we need to multiply down by the power and drop the power by 1. So we'll have 1 half t to the power of 3 minus 2t to the power of 1 and differentiating a constant will give us 0. So we can say this is 1 half t cubed minus 2t. So that's our expression for dy dt. In part b, the first part for two marks asks us to find the rate of change of height of the bird in metres per second when t is equal to 1. We can state when t is equal to 1, dy dt will be equal to 1 half of 1 cubed minus 2 lots of 1. That's going to give me 1 half minus 2, which will give me now 3 over 2, which will be minus 3 over 2 metres per second. So in the second question now, part 1 asks us to find that value and it's minus 3 over 2 metres per second. In the second part, it says determine with a reason whether the bird's height above the horizontal ground is increasing or decreasing when t is equal to 1. We can say now that dy dt is less than 0, therefore it's decreasing. So all I'm going to write now is it's decreasing as dy dt is less than 0. In part c, we're asked to find the value of d2y by dt squared when t is equal to 2. The question carries two marks. So we have an expression for dy dt. We need to differentiate both sides of this equation, again, with respect to t. So dy dt is 1 half t cubed minus 2t. So differentiating once more, d2y by dt squared, multiplying down by the power, and drop him a power by 1, multiplying down by the power and drop him a power by 1. So if I just tidy this up, we'll have 3 over 2 t squared minus 2. At this stage, I'm going to sub in now t is equal to 2. So when t is equal to 2, d2y by dt squared will be equal to 3 over 2, 2 squared, which is going to give me 4 minus 2. So this is going to give me 6 minus 2, which is equal to 4. So that's the first part of C done for two marks. In the second part for one mark, it says given that y has a stationary value when t is equal to 2, state whether this is a maximum or minimum value. We can state now for a min, and I'm just going to jot this down, for a min, we can have now d2y by dt squared, greater than zero, therefore minimum. So all I'm doing now is stating that this value right here is greater than zero, four is greater than zero, therefore we're going to have a minimum point.